Hello, my name is Brian Martinez and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to get um, a liquid text effect for on Photoshop. So first off, uh, you're going to want to start a new file. Open that up. And then uh, you want to make sure for, for the width and height is 6 by 4 inches. And then for the resolution, it's uh, 300 dpi, pixels inches. And for the color mode, you want to make sure you pick um, RGB color. And then once you got all that done, press create. So first off, uh, we're going to create our, our text. So go to the text tool real quick. So, uh, for the size of the text, we're going to pick 124 or 125. Uh, for the font of it, uh, it is uh, Brush Script MT. So we want to uh, click on the canvas. For the color of the letters, we want it to be a nice dark gray. That sounds looks about good. All right. For the word you're going to be using, the word of the day is moist. All right. So once we got that, and see the was already kind of great too. Uh, you want to select both the background and the text with uh, shift click. After that um, we're going to be centering the words so we want to go to the move tool. You want to center it vertically and center it horizontally. There you go. After that we're done with that. Just to add a little bit more pizzazz we want to go to our brush tool. Uh, for the brush right now, I have it set to, um, yeah, for the brush right now, I have it set to size 78 and hardness at 100. Um, the brush type I'm using is a soft round pressure size. So from right here, we're going to want to um, rasterize our layer so we can draw on it. There you go. Uh, we're going to be using the same color as we're using right now. And then, um, I'm going to do like a nice slick line across. Yeah, maybe a little bit more slick here. There you go. That's good enough. Alright, then after you want to go on to the channels tab right here. Click on the blue layer. Right click. And duplicate uh, channel. Uh, we'll leave it as blue copy. Press OK. Click on blue copy. Uh, turn off the original blue. Alright, afterwards you want to go to filter, after filter you want to go to blur, then Gaussian blur. For the blur amount we want it at 25 pixels, the blur now seems good, press ok. Afterwards turn everything back on again and turn off the blue copy. We go back to layers, and afterwards you want to go to filter again, go to uh, render. After render, go to lighting effects. So we refer to load. There you go. So off the bat, uh, yours should probably not look like this, but more so like this, like a flat color. First off, with the whole circle uh, spotlight, we wanted to make sure it's centered. Mine's already centered. Uh, yours most likely should be too. If not, you just drag it and move it around uh, to center it. So afterwards you want to make sure the texture is set to blue copy. So we do that. And afterwards we're going to mess around with these settings here. So I think mine's already set to those but I'm going to just list them out. Um, for the color you want it to be at 54 intensity. For the hotspot at 80. For colorize, you want it to be at negative 5. For gloss and metallic, you want that at 100, maxed out. And as for ambience, we're doing 93. And for height, we're doing 25. So now that seems good, so let's press OK. S sometimes if yours is, usually it's supposed to come through the whole like uh, shading and effects but if that doesn't work, uh, I've been having this issue too. Just go back to um, filter, go to render, lighting effects, 
all the settings should be applied already. I just press OK again, and it should stay like that this time. Once you got that done, you want to go to Filter again. You want to go to Filter Gallery. Once you're at Filter Gallery, you want to go to the folder that says Sketch. Open up the folder, and then click on the one that says Chrome. Click on it, and that should make your um, words and lines all glossy, maybe like, of course, like a Chrome type of look. Afterwards, you want to max out detail and smoothness over here. Once you're done with that, uh, you want to press OK. You're done with that. Afterwards, with that, we want to go to Image adjustments we're gonna change the, um, the levels of this so for the white arrow you want it located right where um, the input level waves end and as for the gray arrow you want it right where the input level waves begin so right here looks about good press ok and afterwards you want to um, click on effects and official effects you want to click on bevel and emboss so it should be there you want style to be in your bevel technique to be on smooth the depth you want it set to three uh yeah 312 percent uh for the size you want it at 21 pixels for the soften you want it 10 pixels also you want to make sure when you go on to the gloss contour right here you want to make sure the pattern is set to this one on the lower lower left side near the corner. So click on that, it's that one. Uh, afterwards, make sure how that mode's on screen. Opacity is at 72. And as well as um, the opacity for the shadow mode. Well, shadow mode is set to multiply and the opacity of it is set to zero. So, um, yeah, so once you're done with that, you want it, press OK. It's like it's a little bit more of like a, a glossy type of look, more, more looks like water. But we're not done yet. Right now, we want to go to, we want to actually make it look wavy, like water, all jiggly. So we want to go to filters, go to the liquify. And then afterwards, what you want to do is, go to the bloat tool my size is set to 70 and the density is set to 50 and uh what you're going to do is go through each and every one word and pass by through them like squiggling back and forth like this what you want to make sure to you do is once you get to the bottom of uh the words make sure you um bloat them a little bit more just to further simulate the behavior of water since water tends to run down Due to the forces of gravity so watch as I do it right here make this a little bit bigger wavy looking you also once the two words connect to you want to bulge them up a little bit more too right here just to further make it look more convincing the, the behavior of liquid I'll quickly pass the pin here. Go through the T down there. A quick pass on here too. Let's see, there you go. So once you're done with that, everything's all good. Click OK. Afterwards, what we want to do is click on our background. Uh, make sure your fill is set to black. What you want to click on next is um, Alt Backspace to fill in the background in uh, black. And then afterwards, what you want to do is click on the effects eyeball right here. Double, double tap it right here, double click to open it up. And what we want to do, we're not going to be messing around with this part, but we want to go down to Blend If. It should be set to gray, but Blend If. Um, for the black arrow, we want to set to 110. What this is going to do is take away most of the grays here to make it a little bit more transparent looking. So we want to set the black to 110. 
right there is good and then for the white arrow we want to set it to 161 go right down there 161 uh, I'll leave it at 160 for now and a little tip too we're gonna split this arrow apart in order to do that um, hold the alt key and then click and drag to split it off and now it's moving like its own little separate arrow object and for the left sided arrow we're gonna set that one to 118 so go down to 118 there you go that's good so once you got that done press ok alright after that we want to go back to the background and uh, for the color we're going to choose for our background it's it's all up to you if you want to but for this tutorial we are going to be picking a nice blue type of color so press alt backspace to fill in the, the color in that looks about good afterwards we want to go to our um, our layer for our text effect layer click on that go to the, the screen modes normal dissolve all that stuff and we want to set it to um, set it to where is it we want to set it to screen there it is so that looks good it's coming a little bit more together and what I want to do afterwards is press ctrl j to copy this layer we're going to create another one stacked right on top of it that looks about good it's a little bit more visible now and afterwards you want to click on both of the layers that we created the the moist text and the moist copy so click on both of these all at once by holding shift and clicking afterwards you want to press ctrl j one more time we're going to copy both of these layers and then uh, how is it for the two copies that are created what you want to do is right click and then we want to set it to merge layers and then we go to this uh, the screen type mode again of normal dissolve and all that stuff and set this one to divide we want to go down to our, our first um, tax effect that we had our first layer and we want to turn that one off just because well, it's just more optional I don't want it to be that bright so I'll turn that off so we're almost about done what we want to do now just for extra detail and stuff is um, when us do like a nice little drop shadow so what you want to do is for the one named moist copy uh, you want to um, control and click on the window layer right here to have a selection made of it you want to create a new layer set the fill to black press control backspace to fill it in and then afterwards let's see get out of the selection real quick after that we want to go to filter blur it's blur gaussian blur all right set that put that okay and we just want to set the let's name this one shadow shadow all right that sounds good and we're going to move this one to the bottom right here and we're going to set this to uh, multiply and as for the opacity we're going to be setting it to uh, 25% so right down there you go and also for the merged layer copy that we made we want to set that one to 60% it's just more of a personal preference but there you go there you go. And uh, just for a further um, further details, if wanted, you could go to uh, the the moist copy over here that has all the effects already. You go to the brush tool, and you could do like little dots and stuff like that to make it look like little water droplets of perspiration and stuff like that. And I just feel like it further enhances the the look of it, and as well as like you know. The, Further represents the word more. I think well, that's right here, there, and there you go. That looks about good. And that's how you get um, a liquid text effect on Photoshop. Uh, yeah, and uh, 
that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>